right, we're here looking at this giant box with Mike Whalen. Masked up for safety. Social distancing. Um, let, let's get a view of this box and see how long it is. Trying to figure out what's in it. I don't think it's a toaster oven. <laughs> it don't look like any jewelry. All the jewelry's already on his neck. <laughs> Look, he can't even stand up. <laughs> What's up? I don't know. It's something big. It could be like a rocket or something, but I don't know. I'm not even going to scroll in on the label. Were you expecting anything in the mail? Uh, maybe. Maybe so. All right, let's get this thing opened up and see what you got. All right. How long do you think this box is? Eight foot. Eight foot box, huh? Don't cut your hand off. You bleed, whatever's in the box is mine. Oh, let's be so careful. It must be something good. You're getting excited. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What in tarnation is that? Looks like I see pen written all over this. Looks like we got two pen rods and two reels. Looks like it might be a battle. I don't know. We're gonna have to pull it out of the box to see. Huh? Huh? How in the heck do they ship a rod in such a big box and don't get broken? What's it looking like? It's looking good. Did you order these or did they just come free? I did. I did. Yeah, let me see that reel here. Bring that reel up here so we get a close up picture. What is it? It is a pen battle two. Pen battle two. Looking good. Looking good. You got two? I got two. You ordered two? I ordered two. You don't even, you don't even fish anymore. What do you need them for? I know. Look at it. Look at it. It, ain't, it broke. <laughs> it broke. I'll give you 20 bucks for that reel right now. 40. All right. Deal. <laughs> Here's he wanted forty bucks. Here we go. Hey, I'll give you forty-five. Ooh, up now. Let's, uh, let's cut it open. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what these rods are. I've never been a big fan of pen rods. I don't know. You putting it on a battle combo. It's got to be a decent rod. Well, a better deal to get the rod and the reel. Yeah, that's, you gotta get the deal. It was uh, 20 bucks more. And I mean, when you have your rod in your hand, it feels different to everybody else. I'm not putting anybody else's rod in my hand. I would hope not. I'm not putting your rod in my hand either. Those are all yours, buddy. Look at this. We got a little hazard warning here. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. You bleed, the rod is mine. Oh my god, come on. A little bit of plastic you can't open? I need the scissors. I need the scissors. I'm gonna grab some Alright, time out. Go get some scissors. Scissors. We got some scissors? Scissors. Dum 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 at least this is a better view. We got the Star Wars flag in the back. Let's zoom in on that. We got, probably got all day to wait for this kid. There ain't nothing happening here. I'm just going to zoom in on Star Wars. Give him a tour of the office. Yeah. No tours today. I'm looking for a tour of that fishing rod. But it, do I got time to go get lunch? I, I, you might. I might have time to order another one. Don't, don't, here. don't, 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 that out. Huh? They put enough bubble wrap on here. How not to use scissors. This is actually, this video is now going to be titled How Not to Use Scissors to Cut Bubble Wrap. It's going to be the world's first ever bubble wrap the scissor story. cutting fail video. Well, you never asked me during my interview if I knew how to use scissors. So, I mean, it's kind of 
Yeah. All right, time out. Take two. We're here with Mike Will. We got something in this here. So Trying to cut some off. Sir, do you know how to use a pair of scissors? Nope. You did not ask me during my interview. Oh, God. Yep, that, that falls on you. Falls on me. I'm doing video. You didn't ask that during the interview. You know what's, you know what's, I don't got all day for this. You know, I, I want to do something more exciting. I'm going to look at this empty box. That's a lot of box. That's a whole hell of a lot of box. You know what? That's more exciting than what's going on right now. Doom, 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 doom. Fish with the rest of it on. Yeah, I, I don't got time for any more of this video. You. you gonna get this done anytime in the next hour? Probably not. I blame the scissors. When you guys get the scissors, last time the shuttle went up. Take a look at those scissors. Those are circa 1972 scissors. That's some skill craft right here. Taking skill to use them. That's better than any scissors you'll buy in Walmart this day, kid. John Glenn was still right. here. We're, we're going to get some video for how not to cut bubble wrap. What is this up here? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, do not do it this way. All right. Don't cut yourself. Bleed is mine. <laughs> All right, um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come back next week. And we should be almost done unwrapping the second rod. We're going to give kids seven days. At this pace. Uh-oh. Uh, at this pace. Uh-oh. Look here. He already broke it. Uh-uh. He already broke it. Look, the guy's all messed up. It's broken. Ain't like that. I don't know. He might have to, he might have to go down to Bass Pro with this video. Show him what you're doing. Good thing this is being documented. Oh my God. All right, actually let's make this. We're gonna come back on June 12th. That is 29 days from now. He might have it open by then. And then our next video will probably be about December 20th. He might have his fishing line on there. Nah. Let's make that January 14th, 2021. You should probably have some line on it. 22. 22. All right. So what do you think about the overall packaging, John? I think the bubble wrap is a little crazy, but... but it, it looks like it's good. It, it holds pretty good. Looks like the one eye. Conscientious wrapping, John. I can't believe they didn't put any extra wrap in the box, huh? I know. Keep it from messing around, messing around, bumping around, whatever. Well, there was no bubble wrap around the reels. That's what I'm saying. They could have bounced around and got scratched up. You're going to have to inspect them, too. Oop. Eek. All right. What's it look like? Pretty good, but you see that one eye. Let's see that eye. Which one was it? Right there. Oh, smushed. Smushed. This is what I should look like. This is what this eye looks like. Smushed. What's the real look like? This thing. Oh my goodness. We'll have this reel ready for you by Thanksgiving. Good condition? Mm-hmm. Just don't know how to do the handle? Mm -hmm. Do it the way you you reel and you reel. Leave that on. There we go. I cap it just in case you want to do it left-handed, or you can just turn the, the whole rod upside down. Look like a rookie. What's it feel like? Give me that little bounce on that. Turn that tip over here. What's it feel like? Go ahead, bow on that a little bit. Feel like you go. got a little backbone to it? Mm -hmm. That's a medium or medium heavy? 
Mm-mm. Medium, medium heavy. Yeah. All right. Overall satisfaction with the setup? One to ten? Nine. Satisfaction with the reel so far? Ten. Satisfaction for what it feels like? Eight. Wait. Wait for it. Feels good? Mm-hmm. What about the packaging? So, so. so, so. What about the condition of the rod? The condition of the rod. What about the eye? Mm. Looks like you'd be going to Bass Pro. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to end this video. I don't know where he went. It's time to get to work anyways. He said, hold on. I think he's going to look for Bass Pro's number. Go ahead and probably walk in Bass Pro and get that rod fixed, right? I mean, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to open up the other one. And see what it. happens. See how that one looks. All right, we're going to sign off for now. Peace. Peace.